Hi, Cardboard Asto here. Guess I'll have to make a VTuber model for myself. Wait, am I a VTuber? In this video, I'll share with you a way to make a simple anime drink shader. Let's go! First, create a circle for your drink surface. Extrude the edges inwards by hitting E, then S, left click to confirm the extrude, hit M, merge at center, and now you have a circular plane. Let's go to the UV workspace. In the 3D view, go into top view by hitting numpad 7, and unwrap the plane in edit mode with the project from view, bounce option. This way, we can use the UV coordinates to make our shader. Now, give the plane a material and call it the drink you're planning to make. I'll call it tea. Hmm, maybe coffee. Nah, maybe tea. Go into the shading workspace and we can start playing around with the shader. Make sure to enable the Note Wrangler add-on to use some of the keyboard shortcuts that I'll be using. This basic shader is divided into three parts. The base radio gradient, the highlights, and the shadow. To make the base gradient, add the gradient texture and change it to spherical. Connect the gradient texture to the output by hitting Ctrl Shift left click on the gradient texture node. Select the gradient texture and hit Ctrl T. We'll be using the UV coordinates. Plug it in and you will find the gradient texture being centered at a corner. To fix this, we just need to offset the location of the coordinates along the X and Y axis by minus 0.5. Basically, putting the center back at the center, if that makes sense. However, I prefer scaling the UV up by 2 along X and Y and change the XY offset to minus 1. This way, the gradient is smaller and I can demonstrate this using a plane. And yeah. You can play around the scale if you're curious, but just remember to change the offset to negative half of the XY scale. Add a color ramp and place it after the gradient. In the color ramp, the black represents the color at the rim, and the white represents the center. Change the color according to your drink and look for references if you have to. Add a math node between the color ramp and the gradient and change it to power. You can decrease the exponent towards 0 to make the gradient tighter. If you don't like it, leave it at 1 or just not use the math node at all. The base is basically done and we can parent all these nodes to a frame. Hit N in the node editor and you can change the name and the color of the frame. Now we can start adding the highlights. The base nodes are pretty useful, so I'll duplicate the whole frame. Delete the color ramp and add a noise texture after the power node. Plug the power output to the scale of the noise. This did something, but we need to add more stuff to get the highlight. Place a math node between the power and the noise and change it to multiply. Start increasing the lower value of the multiply and you'll start to see these little swirls. Add the color ramp after the noise and squash the white and black points to extract the highlight shape. This looks pretty good to me. Now, Control shift right click on the highlight color ramp and drag the line onto the base color ramp. Change Mix to Add, and turn up the factor. The highlight is now layered on top of the base, and you can change the color of the highlight by changing the white color in the color ramp to your highlight color. A trick to make your highlight look better is to turn up the value slider of your highlight color by typing in a value larger than 1. This is not possible if you simply drag the slider. I'll type in 2 for the value. And I'm gonna turn on Bloom as well in the EV settings. Makes it look better. Make a little more space around the noise node because we will be duplicating a set of texture coordinates and mapping nodes. Connect them to the noise vector and for this texture coordinate node, we will be using generator. 
and make sure to reset the node locations and scales for the mapping. Now you can start changing the rotation values of the mapping node to change how the highlight looks. With the highlight completed, we can duplicate the highlight frame to make the shadows. For the shadows, I'll be changing the brighter color in the color ramp to a shadow color. And the black to white. Control shift right click on the color ramp and drag it onto the base color's color ramp. Change mix to multiply and play around with the rotations of the noises mapping. Play around the value of the multiply node and the color of the shadow. Add a few more tweaks on everything and you're basically done. Put this plane within a cup and you've got yourself a drink. Look for references and start creating different versions of this shader. It's really fun. Thanks for watching and I'm gonna go play some Animal Crossing. A new series is coming to the channel as well so let's meet in the next video. Thank you so much again for your support and I'll probably disappear for another two months again but uh, I hope you guys are having fun with Blender and you know just play around with things and try new things. It's the most important thing when it comes to art, right? So yeah, bye.